Hello, my name is Bruce Gibson. I'm the Occupational Health Product Manager here at Levitt Safety. Today we're here to introduce to you the Smart Tone Audiometer from Benson Medical. It's one of our newest audiometers that we're selling in Canada and I'd just like to walk you through some of the features of this audiometer. First thing is, and you'll notice right away, is it's a fully interactive touch color screen which makes setting the test up, performing the test, and so on, much more easy and, uh, and simple for the, the user of the device. I'm just going to walk you through the features of this unit. Uh, in the unit, you can store up to 300 completed tests. Um, it also will provide a talk over feature if you need to pause the test for any reason, whether you're connected to a sound booth or generally speaking there is full talk over into the headset of the device. And standard with each device is a TDH39 headset and a patient response button. We also recommend this device with the purchase of the Smart Tone Audiometer and this is the D-Check that goes with it and it performs your daily calibration verification. Okay, I'd just like to show you the functions of the audiometer itself. Under the main menu button, there's a number of things we can set up and use. Uh, example, your storage, you can, like I mentioned earlier, you can store up to 300 completed tests. So if there's any tests stored in there, you can scroll through them now and look at them, recall them, and so on. You can see from there, or delete them. Okay. I'll close that screen just so you had a look at that. Back to the high level menu. We can also look at the setup of the device and as you can see here there's the options of how you want to the machine to perform. In this case we've selected pulse tone and we're testing all the way to 8,000 Hertz. You could turn that off if you wanted or go to a constant or continuous tone if that was required. And you can also key in here that you want to automatically save every test once completed or print if we're connected to a printer. Okay, and once again the high level menu screen and just gives you information as to what version of the product you're using and when it was last calibrated if you weren't sure. We also have a mic button, second button down here and as explained that gives you the ability to use the talk over feature of the device and uh, if someone's in a sound booth and connected to inside the sound booth you can push the talk microphone button and you create a talk over scenario where the person can hear you ex maybe re-explaining the test and how it should be taken through the actual headset that they're wearing. And then at the end when you have a test you can save it or automatically print it and then the test button allows us just to start a test, stop a test, clear a test when it's done, enter the subject ID or go into the manual mode as I talked about where you can present the tones and the different sound levels manually if someone's struggling with a test. A couple of other things I'd like to mention with the device. It also comes standard with a USB output, so it works with a number of major software packages. The HT Pro system from Workplace Integra it interfaces with their product. HearTrack, the Audiometric and Hearing Conservation program it works with, also interfaces directly to some of the bigger um, fully Pa uh, full packages, I'm talking about Medgate and Pure Safety's OHM. So if you're using a software product for maintaining your data, this has a full out uh, output and interface capabilities for that purpose. Okay, so right now I'd like to run a test with a test subject. I'd like to thank Delia for volunteering to take a test for us today and with any audiogram or audiometric test using a TDH39 headset, your red is always your right ear and blue would be your left ear. So again with an adjustable headband we can make it comfortable for each individual patient. So I'll get Delia to put those on and get comfortable. And then to the standard patient response button. We'll get Delia to hang on to that and we always explain the test to the person and in simple terms you're going to hear a series of beeps. Some of them will be very high pitched, some will be low, some will be soft, some will be loud. Whenever you think you hear them push and release the button. And for this test we're using pulse tone so you'll hear three beeps in a row at any of those points. Okay? I go over now, we're going to start the test from the test menu. You can key in a subject ID, whatever methodology you want to use, but at this point I'm just simply going to start the test and we'll let Delia proceed.
Okay, at the conclusion of the test, when her test is over, we'll ask Delia to take that headset off and make sure we can review our results here in a second. And a typical test in an automatic mode will take between four to five, five and a half minutes if a person has normal hearing. And like I said, at any point during the test, if there's an issue with Delia's hearing, maybe she's got ringing in the ears or something like that, for example, we can always pause the test. We can step it into a manual mode where I can present the tones manually, try to get her over that area where she's struggling. As well, if she's in a sound booth, for this example, we're not using a sound booth, but if she was in a sound booth, which is highly recommended, this audiometer comes with a full talk over feature so I can pause the test and outside of the sound booth I can be talking to Delia, re-explaining it to her through, she'd be hearing through the, the headset itself. I'd like to thank Delia for taking the test with us today and basically in essence that concludes the presentation on the Smart Tone Audiometer from Benson Medical. If you have any questions about the product, please contact me.